What's up, y'all? It's Khadija, the princess of the streets. Today, I wanted to do a mukbang, so guess what? We doing it. And today, we have... A shady in the building, a shady blue. You know what's up. Talk about it, talk about it. She I'm really, 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 really excited to have you. With the seafood boy, you like. Oh, yeah. yeah you you already know the vibes. Boil. You know, Come we on. got the king crab legs. We Ooh. got the snow crab legs. She potatoes. Got the she got corn. the eggs. The sausage. <laughs> Egg green status, man. <laughs> <laughs> you name it. You name it. For real. <laughs> and the bib. You must know I'm childish. Yeah. Okay. Right. So let's start with Grace. Because that's how oh, we that's do right. this. Okay, period. That's how we do things. Okay. Thank you, Father God, for this food we're about to receive. Allow us to do nothing but nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, girl. Let's get into it. Here, hold on. Let me pray it. We're going to put these on. I always rip these. I don't know. I just suck it. You be tired of them? How you suck it? Oh, mm -hmm. like yeah. just tuck it in your shirt? But you be tired of them, like all the way around? Yeah, I'm really okay, shy. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I'm going to join. I'm going to join. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm going to tuck it too, because... Right. This is too much hair. Okay. You see the little, the little whatever that is, my little lobster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boom. Safety boom. first. You got to protect the fit. Okay. So, she wanted mild. I wanted medium. We're going to go ahead and. You be watching ASMR, you know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I love ASMR. Mm-hmm. ASMR. I don't know if I said that right. Oh. Yeah, we off to a good start already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always doing something. Okay, I really like, like the, the garlic, garlic so, so I'm going to take a lot of garlic, garlic out of mine. Like, oh my I'm mad. God. You were scared of the, uh, the mild. It's super spicy. It was crazy. I it's got the mild and never got the mild. The mild is like, I mean, it's cool. It all tastes the same to me, but a medium, I just need that little. That little. Mm. I yeah. already get it. I get it. <laughs> and you be putting the salt all over it or no? Um, not like really. Good. I like lemon. I don't really do the salt thing. Hold on. Let me click. I'm making a mess already, but we just going. That's why we covered everything up. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Once it starts, we're going to. Mm -mm. Okay. I got us some scissors, too. And a towel. Okay. Okay. So. What's up with you? What you been on? Shit. What haven't I been on? Everything been crazy. I be, you know I'm really like a studio rat. Like. You been in a studio like crazy? What? Every day. Bro, right now my studio is under construction, which I'm excited about. You got your own studio? No, I'm signed to a uh, independent label. Well, a big label and an independent label. Girl, you gotta be eating too. Okay, say that. Hold on. <laughs> Let me do my hair. Don't so, be making me look crazy. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I'm signed to a label. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Call No Name. Okay. Um, it is or was a JV under Interscope, so I'm signing both of them. But mm. No Name is family. And yeah, I'll be in the studio every every fucking day like i'm really one of those just you don't party you don't do nothing no but right now i'm taking you only going out mm, lately lately i'm really boring like why you say you boring i'm boring because you know when you think of a when you think of an artist you like oh they be outside all the time like yeah. do certain shit but i'm really in my boring stages of like no like i'm always in the studio if it's not music related, it's hard to get me outside type shit. Like, you How know, is your um, like support system? Hella good. When it comes to like family, you mean like personal? Yeah, like whether it be your family, your mm -hmm. friends, even shoot your fans. Sometimes my fans be my support. They don't play about you, okay? <laughs> no, my support system is great, especially because I'm just starting. So my family tends to behind me. My brother's like the reason like I really took rap serious. Like I was like, okay, if I'm hard, like y'all gonna tell me or y'all like mm -hmm. this shit weak, like mm, type shit, you know? So my family's real big behind that. But I think, I think my career really just growing. Like I'm just getting started. Like I just dropped my first, I wanna say my first like official song was like 
two years ago, like a video two years ago. I literally been watching you on YouTube, and I'm just like, girl, yo content, you swap, like. yo content is super super fire. Your videos you. are very creative. They're like very different. Like, I'm really happy for you because Thank I'm you, like, babe. this is like exciting. Like when I first looked at your videos, I'm like, I don't really know like what to expect. Like, who is Shady Blue? Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I actually see your videos, I'm like, oh, she's dope. Thanks. I like her music. It's, it's not too much rah, like. rah, 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 rah. It's very, like, you right. know? I be cool, and I want my music to reflect that, too. Like, I feel like, because you know me, I like I love Sexy Red. I love, like, our term music. But I really want to be a female artist where it's like, I just want to give, like, a different point of view for females. Like, it's not always, you know, like, I got some shit to say, too. Like, or I yeah. got some shit on my mind. So I hope that's the message that's really getting across because it's all vibes. And thank you, babes. Well, my content, I love telling a story like through videos I feel like that's the funnest part like other than recording mm -hmm. if I could if I could do that then we could do anything we could paint a picture through a video we could okay so for those who don't know where are you from I'm from Long Beach California y'all okay let's LBC. talk about a year first lady <laughs> in Long Beach hello oh my <laughs> gosh okay I love Long Beach though I'm from Hawthorne, California. You love a Hawthorne girl. Come on. Come on. Like, let's talk about it. The best things come from Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what high school you went to? I went to Poly. I went to, hold on. I'm going to take this off. I went to Milliken my freshman year, but that didn't work out. I really got sent to Milliken, so I wouldn't be bad. <laughs> so I wouldn't be bad. Mm -hmm. and so I wouldn't be bad, but it didn't work out. So I went to Poly for the rest on the east side. But I was really close to like a lot of the North Side kids that went to like Jordan and shit. Like my family be on the North Side, so mm -hmm. that's what I rep the most. Yeah, but Polly, shout out to the Jack Rabbits and shit. Y'all know how y'all is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's talk about. Oh, you even got the scissors, bro. I ain't that's eat long. all day. I'm hungry. She ready? She like she got. I got a rhythm, girl. She like keep up. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about like your upcoming events. What you got going on coming up? I'm actually. My next up and coming event is a secret, I ain't gonna lie. But what I can say is I'm on to project two, number two. I'm about to drop again. Ooh, that's like, exciting. Very exciting. Cause I feel like my first project was like my rookie project, like my my coming out, yeah, my coming out, out, right? So this project, hold on, they're gonna see how I get down. I'm not playing about the same. <laughs> <laughs> um Girl, I'm so focused. But my next project is just more of me, like more fun vibes. Like I feel like my first project was more emotional, more personal, a little bit. But mm -hmm. this time, I want to have fun. Like, I want to show, I want to show all my personality. Like, we could be deep and all that great stuff, but we here for the vibes for real. For so. sure, summer coming up. Mm-hmm. That's a perfect time to plan too. So. For sure. Oh, hold on now. Mm-hmm. You like it? It tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, like. Okay, I also want to know. Um, what are we talking about? What else yeah, I want to know about project. Shady? What else? Yeah, I be doing. Because you know I want to know. Um, I got a couple of features that I'm happy about. Mm, I seen, about. I seen, I seen. Hello, we're going to get one in two. I'm going to put this on the camera so she know we're going to get one in two, okay? We're going to get one in. Good vibes. We're going to get one in. But yeah, I got a couple features I'm happy about. I seen it with Greedo already. Yes. That's big. Um, I got a song. He definitely like an LA legend. Mm hmm Which is, that was a full circle moment for me too. Cause I think like one of my first songs, like when he went to jail, like I did like a remix. Mm hmm And it was like a tribute. So to get a song from him was like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, and that's where it started. So yes, yeah, so I got a song with O3 Greedo, excuse me, hello called No Use, and it's out on all platforms right now, and it's doing really good. It just went random as fuck, went number one in Germany. For real? That's hard. Like, out of nowhere. That's I'm hard. Like, That's real hard. Thank you. Girl, I'm really proud of you, and thank I you. think that um, it's really dope when, you know, other big L.A. artists, like, look out for us, because we yeah. are up and coming. I just started doing music, like, a year ago. And it and was like a, you. man, it was like a shock for a lot of people. They're like, she ain't no rapper. She don't do music. Right. And I just really feel like I could do whatever I wanna whatever do. Want to do. Like, I wake up and want to do a McBang. And look at us now. 
<laughs> eating, cutting up crabs and shit. Like, let's talk about it. I think that's a dope mindset to have because don't ever let nobody tell you, like, oh, the aesthetic of what you can't do. Like, what the fuck? You could do whatever you want to do. So, you know, I'm an Aries, so it's like, who going to tell me something? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Who no. going to tell me in real, something? In real time, like, and look at all the shit. Look at the shit you accomplished in a fucking year, like. Girl. You're on tour. God. Come on. Amen. God. Okay. So I've been fighting this little piece and I'm going to get it. Girl. When is your birthday? August 25th. I am a Virgo. Okay. I love a Virgo. Okay, my little brother is a Virgo. He get on my last freaking nerves. <laughs> but it's all love though. We posted. I feel like we posted. Let's see your sibling. I'll be I ready to <laughs> I mean, he's doing his job. To get on my nerves? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yo, 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 that's literally what they here for. What we talking about? Do you have siblings? Yes, I do. I got, on my mom's side, I got two older brothers and an older sister. And my dad's side, I got an older sister, a younger brother, and a younger sister. Mm. So it's a couple of us. So real. who your favorite? Right here, right now. Oh, shit. They be watching. They be <laughs> watching. I love all my babies. Nah, my little brother is like my little me. Like, he know. I'm not gonna lie. I got a favorite. My little brother, my favorite sibling. Mm -hmm. And it's like public record. But he's not really my favorite because he really worked my nerves the most. That means he your favorite. That's my baby. (laughs) Oh my God. That is my little baby. That means he your favorite for sure. Because if you tolerate it, it's like, ooh, I love you. You you should know it, boy. For real. But I took that glove off. It was supposed to help. It was getting in my way. I know. Mm-hmm. I just don't be wanting to mess up my freaking nails. Know, no, them fresh, girl. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, y'all nail techs, oh, my God. They be charging an arm into my fucking leg, and I be cutting off my arm and my leg just Mm-mm. to give it to y'all. Ma'am. I cannot mess these up. Mm-mm. She handed this. I said, you go, girl. No, the design. And that took a minute, too, huh? Girl, I was there for like two Shout hours. Shout out to y'all. We be needing y'all. We sure do. Putting this art on our little hands and stuff. This hey. food is actually really good. Maybe we should no turn up fire. the... Uh, the heat and where where is this from? Yeah. I don't want to say. Oh camera. yeah, we can't we can't promote. <laughs> Wherever I mean, it's from, it's hidden. Unless they're gonna start giving me some um promo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, come sponsor these mukbangs. But what I did come here to promote is my new favorite drink. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna pour a sip some more. I got a little chaser in here too, but let me drink this down. Okay, you said wipes right here. Let me see. Yeah, I got some wipes. Thank you, babe. Mm-mm. Okay, so. I hope none of y'all was hungry. Well, y'all, we got some diesel. Mm-hmm. This is sangria cocktail. It's actually amazing. We're going to go ahead and drink some right now. Okay. I don't Sorry, think I'm going to mix mine. Taste gonna taste it. Like well, which one you want? This one is. What's this? Which one is yours? Oh, this is mango Rita and this is sangria cocktail. I think I want mango. Flavors, right? Okay, but you already drinking mango, so I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do sangria. I like yeah, sangria. That's you sure? But yeah, make sure y'all go cop some diesel, cause it's the business. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this with these nails? All right, fuck it. from the side, yep. I be doing Hold that. <laughs> Okay, put these back on. Okay. We playing with this seafood. I ain't seen you eat nothing yet. I had a piece of, let me finish my sausage. Girl, you, you talking at about me. you was I, hungry. I ate my egg. This do not look like hungry to me. And cuz, you know when you be having certain meals, you be like, it's some privacy. I'm trying to be like, Girl, you cause I'll ignore the camera. I'm about to burp. No, I'm Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll be ahead. watching McBain's and they be like, eh. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, yeah. that's how you feeling? Y'all like to, y'all like to chew and we could do that. Well, how is honor? You took your sip. Oh yeah, and you it's can. what it's like twelve percent. This gonna get you. This gonna get you mm-hmm. right. It's gonna sneak up on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Mm-hmm. That's good. I love a good potato too. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let me put my glove back on. Okay. Back into you. Yeah. So, everybody want to know, what's up with Shady? 
Who she feeling? What she doing? What she got going on? We want to know. Oh, y'all want y'all want to be in my business? We want to be in your business. I ain't even got no business to fucking be in, cause for one, everybody's on timeout, baby. My love life is non-existent right now. Okay, I, got look, a, I got a good reason. Let's start here though, because these days, you know, on, everybody like, like everybody. Oh, so no. you like boys or you like girls? I like boys. Everybody think I like women though, cause of how I dress. Cause I'm a tomboy, but mm-hmm. I like men. I like me a man's. I love my women though. I love my big booty bitches. Hold on, I love my hoochies. Let me give y'all a shout out, cause y'all make the world go round. But do you have a type? I don't know. I like dark skin men. Mm. I got, I got, I like dark skin men. Sadly, tall. dark demons. Uh huh. Gotta be tall. I'm tall, so you gotta be tall. But yeah, all these niggas don't punish me right now. How tall are you? Five nine, oh, I yeah. think. Like five nine. That's a good height. I'm like five seven. I feel like five seven and a half maybe. Mm-hmm. And with heels, I might be a cool six. Um, <laughs> so you that's feel me? Legs. So Say hello. Gotta be tall. Okay. Like so everybody on timeout. Yeah, everybody on timeout. I think my position is very like intimidating for niggas, cause, huh. <laughs> cause for one like. I'm in like a male dominated, we both are, first of all, we're in a male dominated industry, like, and it's a lot of niggas rap dreams early, and we over here like, well, we want to be rappers, so a lot Mm -hmm. of niggas, they say they're not intimidated by it, but they is, like, and I don't got time for wishy-washy, I'd rather just do what the fuck I said I was going to do and be a rapper. Rather than have a nigga like secretly like you know just yeah, secret hey, animosity, oh, right? Trust like me, I know, right? Like I you I think you support me, you low key like not so. Mm, yeah. It be wishy washy, it very wishy washy. Plus I'm ignorant. Like once somebody start like me, I be like, uh, <laughs> I don't got time for this shit. Like, you said I'm ignorant. I am. I don't have time. I lie or I thought I liked you. I don't. So I don't know. Shady blue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so fun facts about Shady. Go. Fun facts about Shady. As a kid, I was born in Long Beach, but as a kid, I was raised on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. But like in Pittsburgh, so I was like 10. And I came, so what I- What took you out there? My dad's from out there, so I, I'm from Long Beach and was raised in Pittsburgh. My dad from Pittsburgh and was raised in Long Beach. Mm-hmm. But my mom's from Long Beach, like. So I got hella family out there, that's a fun fact. I got hella like love supporters out there. Mm-hmm. Um, what's another thing? I love food. I like to cook. It may not look at, like it right now, but I love food. <laughs> I like to cook. Um, I'm big on family time and shit. That's why I be saying I'm boring. Like the club don't excite me. That shit don't excite me. This artist shit actually is the most exciting shit right now. Like, cause I don't never know what to expect. Do you like link up with like a lot of other girls? No, like, I want to. I want to. You you know what's crazy? When I first started rapping, I'm like, I'm not gonna get no male features. Like, I'm probably gonna end up working with all females, and it's the complete opposite. Girl, like, the complete. What? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I need my girlies. Like, I would love to link with more of the girlies, cause you know, I like, I got my big boy features and all that great shit. But I feel like the girls is running shit. Like, I need to be around the girls way more than I am. You know what I think it is though? Like, just what? me personally, I feel like. Some girls just not that inviting. Like I've what? met a couple of people like you. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Um, I got a homegirl. Her name is Shaky. Y'all go check her out. She's dope. Shout out Shaky. Um, Nisha J. We got Dej Dalla. Um, all of them were like very inviting when I first met them. So right. it make you want to be like, oh yeah, I want to go cool, to the studio right? with you. Oh yeah, um, Million. Um, no, that's very true. Cause like they was cool, but some girls that it's like. You be kind of wanting to work with them, but it's like they not nice. Right. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna go work with the guys because they be cool. They be cool and like it don't it don't be no maintenance. They be yeah, it don't be studio, no like, oh she probably yeah, sound no better gossip. than me or look yeah, better than like, me or and I wish that narrative would really change because women are we running shit right now. So all the unnecessary like gossip and the un. Like, it's cute. It's very fucking cute to be pretty and inviting, bitch. That mean girl shit's not cute. That mean like, girl shit is it's not It's out the cute. fucking window. Like, y'all need to figure that out. I hate out. a mean girl. Yeah. It's like, ew. It automatically dumps all your prettiness down. Like, nobody care about that shit no more. Your character trash. So, 
But I do. To answer your question, I really do want to get in the studio more with women. Do you have a song with any girls? No, I'm about to lock in with Sue. Shout out Sue Lime. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Way more. That's really crazy. I really ain't got no female features right now. But we're going to change that this summer. It's all men. Like, yeah, we're going we gonna to rearrange that. Oh I do God. want. Okay. <laughs> it don't even taste that hot to me while it's mm -mm. doing all of this. What, the food? Mm -mm. You don't see this? That's what it's doubled. Acting like mm. it's. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, them. Anyways, um, what else are we talking about? Um, shit, I really want to know how you. Can I ask you questions or is this all about me? Oh, okay. So is it all about me? Like. It's really all about you, but what okay, you want to know about me? Shit, I already asked you, to be honest, like, how you feel about your tour, mm. everything that's going so on. I'm on how's tour. That, yeah, how is that for you? I'm on tour with one of the biggest, Kamaya. Shout Come out, on. Kamaya. That's my yeah. mom's girl. She dope <laughs> as fuck. Um, her tour been lit. She been having sold out mm. shows, so obviously it been lit. Mm-hmm. Um, Besides that, I did a sexy red tour date in yes, South right. Padre, Texas. Oh my well, god! How was that? It was like eight thousand people was lit. there. So what? I know like, it. Like you know, the best crowd to be at, like, or around, or to perform for, is people who like really go there to like have fun. Right. Like, it was a spring break, so it's like everybody oh, there yeah. trying to get drunk, hot, twisted, faded. Huh, well, they're here for a good time, and they're like, <laughs> exactly. bring the vibes. Like. Exactly. So as long as your performance is good, it's kind of, like, hard for them not to mess with you. You get what I'm saying? Right. And in South Padre, Texas, Island, I believe it's called. So, so the, the act, act before me, he, he got, got booed off stage. stage. So, so I, I was like, like oh! <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm not, not like laughing, laughing at him, him or but it's like, damn. I'm not laughing at him, but I was just like, oh my God, like this is too much for me. Like right. if they boo me off the stage. They would never, you wouldn't even let that happen. Oh, I'm not mad, you let that happen. But I was like, oh my God, like they gotta be a little tough if they out here booing people. Like he performing, they like, sexy, sexy, get off the fucking like, stage. We're not, <laughs> we not worried about you. Oh my gosh. So boom, then I came out and then mind you, I don't know. I love my dad. He mm -hmm. told me um, he want me to wear red hair when I go on this show. Period. So, of course, me, I go with my red hair. <laughs> I go perform. And before, at the soundtrack, girl, they was all like, sexy, sexy red, we love I'm you. We, so, at first, I'm like, they got to be joking. Like, I'm not sexy red. They serious. And they was being serious, but they wasn't like right up on me. They was like, you know, they seen the hair. They seen mm -hmm. the hair. They seen I'm brown. Girl, skin. you were sexy red. She did say what? <laughs> so I was walking, and this little boy, his mom was like, oh my God, sexy. Like, my son want to take a picture with you. Uh -huh. I was like, I am sexy, but I ain't sexy. <laughs> And that was a good comeback, because for real, like, y'all. What? I don't know y'all artists. Um, they seen the red hair and lost it, like, oh, my God. <laughs> but um, they, that little boy still wanted to take a picture with me. I know, that's right. And then they sent me the picture. I posted him on my page, and his parents was like, thank you so much. I just showed him that you posted him. He's so happy. I'm like. I love that. That is why I, like, enjoy doing music now. Same. it's like. You touch a lot of people. Like, you reach a lot of people. And exactly. you inspire a lot of people you didn't even know you was going to inspire, like. Especially if it wasn't planned. Like, you you like, oh, I didn't even know if I wanted to be a fucking rapper. But look at me. Inspiring kids and shit. Like, what? It's different. It definitely is different. That's a highlight for me, too. I got a daughter. Her Aww. name is Wynn. Hi, Wynn. Girl, she um is about to be three in August. And when I put my videos on TV, she be like, that's Khadija. <laughs> <laughs> she know. Oh, you got to record I be like, girl, now. that's Khadija. She loves Khadija. I love it. Going you got a No, not yet. I'm waiting. Girl, Girl wait. wait. <laughs> My, My daughter, daughter yeah. Yeah. She, she crazy. crazy. That's, That's why you gotta listen to people who have kids. Because everybody, everybody who have kids, kids be like, hold your horses. Like, hold it's your definitely horses. a beautiful thing. I believe and I wouldn't have, have said, said that, like, oh, I would have just, just waited. waited. Yeah. I feel like I had a good a kid at a good time. I was the right age. It was nothing wrong with what I did. Um. Really, it was nothing. But 
it's just like you have to really be ready to have a kid because right. you got somebody that you gotta think about all the time. Like when I go on tour, I gotta be like, okay, who gonna do pick up and drop off? Who right. gonna, you gotta like, make sure you monitor that too. Exactly, mm-hmm. and then it's like somebody that I trust, and then it's like I limit contact between like my kid don't go places like that. Mm-hmm. My kid only go places that you feel me. You're I know. Familiar with yeah, that's good parenting because y'all be out here just yeah. hey. We when my mom mommy. used to do me like that, I used to be like, my mom, mm, mm-hmm. my mom don't ever let me go nowhere. And now I get why. You get why. It's a crazy ass world. That's good. I feel like that's good parenting. <laughs> we love, look, on mommy and the artist. Hold on. <laughs> Girl. No, I love that. Hold on, let me eat this I've been trying. Do you be eating this pork? Uh-uh. You don't eat that pork? Mm-mm. You be I, eating that pork? It's hard. So sometimes I just leave it. Yeah. What do you, it's meat in there. It is me in here. You supposed to like open this up. You want me to do it for mm-hmm. you? Okay, we're gonna use the scissors because. Yeah, I'm gonna sip this mango Rita. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cynthia Thompson. Mm mm. I want another shrimp and spizzle. Oh, watch these braids. Here. Oh, it is. Okay. Girl, I be I did not oh. be fighting that. That's Thank not you. Um, That's not. This, like this part is. Okay. Girl, I bought these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker strong. He don't want us to eat his mm-hmm. meat. I'm going to be six, singing Sexy Red all day, too. Girl, they I just, love her. We need her. I don't care what nobody say. I love her. Need her. She's a so great So I had vibe. seen her at a club one time. Mm-hmm. And she was performing. So I really seen her like two times when she was performing. And the first place I seen her, a whole fight broke out. So I didn't get to meet her or nothing <laughs> like that. Then the second time I seen her, oh, I had met Trinidad James. He had came mm-hmm. to one of my parties. No, that's right. And... I seen him walking her to her car, and I I was just being thirsty. I don't know. I just feel like if I like somebody, like, I'm going to show you I like you. Mm-hmm. Like, and it ain't even, like, on no crazy shit or nothing like that. Like You going to let him know. Yeah. That's good. So, it was a lady outside selling flowers and stuff. I bought her, like, a whole bouquet of flowers. <laughs> you so And cute. outside of the club, them flowers is not cheap. Thanks. Girl. Girl. They be making their rent money off that. They be Only like, thing that I didn't like, though, is mm. I gave her the flowers, and she did not dry. come out the car. So I was like, oh. You got to run that back, sexy. That was yeah, good. That yeah. was a good gesture. You but know I was saying? like, you know what? At the time, she was probably pregnant. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. You know? And then it's like, people, they don't be thinking about certain stuff sometimes. They just be like, yeah. I'm ready to go. You get ready to go. They probably like, I don't want other people to come out here and then it start getting crazy. So I'm like, you know. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it's cool. I'll see her again. Yeah. One like, day. How about you? Yeah, I bought you a bunch of flowers, baby. <laughs> and look at you. Hold on. Run it. Ah! <laughs> I ain't never told nobody that, but. I love it. Yeah. No, nah, I love The gesture was everything, though. Know? Gotta get some flowers, like. I love that. What else? What else we want to talk about? So. I want to know. What's one enough? One plus one equals. What? Two? <laughs> what are you talking about? One plus one. Is you one of them people that be like, two plus two equal fish? No. No. I would never do uh-huh. shit like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> All right. So if Y E S spells yes, uh-huh. what does E Y E S spell? Yes. Am okay. I? So you seen that? Uh-uh. Bro, bro, I'm all these questions you ask, I'm like, one plus one, like this. I've been out of school too, right? Two, two, <laughs> girl, two. That's my answer, two. I'm crying. Oh my gosh. Hey, yes. Why? Girl, don't be doing those. I'm what's crazy, I love games like that. That's the funniest part. Any card game. Do you got that? Uh what's that? Carisha, please. Have you played that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I played it. It's crazy, girl. <laughs> I haven't. What's the question? Like, what's some of the questions? Girl, uh, take a shot if, hold on, what are we saying? Take a shot if you ever been ate from the back. Oh, Lord. Take a shot if. Y'all drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody guilty. 
No, that game is freaking crazy. Like she did her oh, shit with she that did game. Her big one. I need to get like my own copy of it. Mm-hmm. Like she did do her shit with that game. I know that's right. But um, what's your favorite game to play? Um, favorite game to play. I'm so spontaneous. Like I don't even got a favorite game. Like sports wise or just period. No, like card games, board games. Card game. Uno. I'm look. Playing Uno with black people is so frustrating, but so fun. Like, stop <laughs> cheating. All these fucking rules they and shit. Up with Girl, all these fucking, I like, just recently, I just recently played Uno with the homies, and it's just so much shit I didn't know was a rule. Like, and when did y'all make it a rule? You cannot make me pull a million cards. I'm Girl, not doing that. Pull it's a million. One card. The blank card. You get to, uh, you get to write whatever you want, and they gotta like pick up the cards and shit. Have you played like that? Oh yeah, I played that. No, mm-hmm. I don't like that either because uh-uh. they be like. Be Pull chill. 25 cards. Girl, they like, be like, what? switch decks. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard for this. Uh-uh. <laughs> I, I love Uno. I love any game. Like, I'm childish. Like, you pull up, uh, what is it, Trouble, Connect Four, you losing. <laughs> I like, um, you know about Left Right Center? Uh-uh. What's that? You never played Left Right Center? Uh-uh. Oh, my God. I told you I didn't get, like, what? What's that like? <sighs> Left, right, center is literally like, um, it's a dice game, Okay. but you play with money. I know, that's right. I want to play. <laughs> right. It's like one of my favorite games. Okay. So you get three dice. Okay. On a dice, it's like on one side, it's a dot, which means you get to keep your dollar. On the other side, it's right. The other side is left. And the other side is center. Okay. And basically, when you roll the dice, it's going to come out as one of those, either you get to keep one, you pass one to the right, you pass one to the left. <coughs> Excuse me. And then basically the objective is like for all the money to be in the center and then whoever has the last dollar, they win the game. Stop it. So if you're playing with 10 people and y'all playing all with a dollar, mm-hmm. then you turn $3 to $30. Mm-hmm. But if y'all are playing with $10, you turn $30 to $300. Uh-huh. And you play with $100. Ooh, I like this game. <laughs> Game, hold on. Right. Because no, at fine. first I was like, I want to have a game night, but I just, I want to go somewhere and don't have to do nothing after, like, just leave. So, yeah. For my birthday, I got some plots. Oh, yeah. Your birthday, you should always just want to be drunk and just there. <laughs> like, you should not be worried about nothing else but that. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm excited, though. I'm going to pop out for your birthday. Most definitely. We're going to go up for Khadija the right way. Period. So, do you feel like you're a freestyle artist, like a freestyle rapper? Oh, no. I I truly believe, I was just, Greedo be pressing, because that nigga can make a song in fucking two minutes. That's like, soon as soon as you, he hear a song, boom. And I asked him, like, you think freestyle in a gift? He like, no, like, I just think you overthinking, like. Yeah. I feel nigga. like that's how Joe is. Joe does that. Like, he could go in the studio and make fucking ten songs. And it's like, bro, I be having to think about what I'm going through in my bro, life. Bro, I got to think. Like, <laughs> how did you even, two seconds later, you got a whole song. Like, I really be, I really think it's a gift. Like, unless you're just training yourself to, like, full-fledged, everyday freestyle. But, no, I write everything. And I like to write because, like you said, it make me take my time and really, like, okay, how do I feel? Like, so, I write everything. But I've, only, I've always known how to write. Even before I was a rapper, like. I think, like, my first experience with writing was, like, fourth grade. I got to, like, write for my school and shit. I was feeling like that bitch. I don't even know. I don't even know how that came about. But, yeah. So, writing, I write everything. Everything. I want to learn how to freestyle, though. Because, nigga, how you doing ten songs in an hour? Girl. Okay. I don't freestyle. You don't freestyle? Mm -mm. Mm-mm. That ain't my lane. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep that for the See, and you got to know because people be like, how can? Mm Mm-mm. No, you can't. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) <laughs> no, you can't. No, you can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, yeah. What made you want to go by the name Shady Blue? <laughs> My family nickname growing up is a uh, Shady Lady. Like, because when I was a kid, I only liked my parents. Like, they, you know, when your parents are always in your face and then you go around other people, you like, no. Mm-hmm. Like, that was me as a kid. So, my uncle, I have my uncle, but shout out my uncle Bam. He said whenever I used to see him, like, some days I'd be nice, some days I'd be mean. He was like, dang, shady lady. But I didn't want everybody calling me that. So my mom nickname 
out here because she's from Long Beach. Her nickname is Cali Blue. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know what? Combine her name with mine, so it's Shady Blue. And yeah, now everybody think I'm a crib. <laughs> well, I be having to explain myself all the time. Yeah, cause these girl. <laughs> so the whole world think I'm a crib. Mm-hmm. First of all, it's big bees. Before we I get see the nails. That, I do. <laughs> I do like how you did that though. Like yeah. I like the shady blue concept. Thank you. Um, I feel like even that is being like a tribute to your mom. So I know that she's gonna be like very proud of you and everything that you're doing because mm-hmm. she's gonna be like, yeah, she gonna be telling her friends, yeah, they was calling me Cali Blue. And yeah, yeah, she was crazy. <laughs> she still she still go by Cali Blue. Like that's her nickname. So she love it. And then like it just tied together. Like my my goddaughter, her name is Blue. Like so it's just all that. I'm like, that's a pretty blue. name. Yeah. I love and that name. my family, my family is a couple gangbangers, so it's just blue. <laughs> <laughs> so look, my favorite color is blue. Mm-hmm. I can't deny that. That's my favorite color. My favorite color is blue and orange, and that been my favorite color. <gasps> Good combo, period. <laughs> the best combo. But that been my favorite color since Forever. favorite colors yeah. that I knew. Like, actually, when I was a real baby baby, I loved mm-hmm. lavender because I love Tinkerbell. Mm-hmm. Purple. I what love I love lavender, but then when I like started growing up, I just felt like blue looks good on me. I just like the shade. I just love blue. Well, happy. So I'm always commenting. Do blue hair? What? Yes, but my name didn't stem from like no color type shit. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't like oh I like blue, so my name gonna be Khadija. Like my mm-hmm. birth name is Khadija. Really? That's pretty. Yeah. Like full plate? No, like <laughs> that's really pretty. Like, it's, an it, like, it's, really name. Name. Okay. it's an Arabic name. Okay. It's an Arabic name. Khadija's actually like the most beautiful Arabic name out, but come on now. Let me tell you, my name is Khadija. It's mm-hmm. not really spelled like that. But when I was in high school, mm-hmm. even before high school, but high school is when I started like having a mouth and talking back and shit mm-hmm. like that. So it's like my teachers used to be like Khadija, and I used to be like, my name is Girl, Khadija. Khadija. So. My friends, they used to be making fun of me. They used to be like, my name is Khadija. <laughs> so when I was like in the ninth grade, Instagram came out. So mm-hmm. I literally made my Instagram Khadija. And made sure they say it correctly. Before uh, the breakdown, rap, like. before anything. So it's not like I became a rapper and then it was just like, oh, it's big C's. Like, no. <laughs> and then my middle name is Chanel. My name is literally Khadija Chanel. I like so I do the two C's because it's literally like Khadija Chanel. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's really your name. Like, like my birth name, my parents came up with that. So That's blame them, fun. don't blame me. Oh, what are you? Can I ask? Like, you just black or you like? You African oh, or like? yeah. Okay. So my mom is African, Sierra Leonean. I'm West African. I'm SL's baddest, not to pine hype. Ooh, don't play with her. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with her. I yeah, love so that. I'm African. And then my dad is from Chicago. Mm. So shout out to the shy. Period. What about you? I need to go to Shy Town. My my real name? No, you said your dad was from Philadelphia. Yeah, he from Pittsburgh. He Pittsburgh. from Pittsburgh. Yeah. And where your mom from? You said Long she Beach. She from Long Beach. So y'all just they met. Okay, cause like my dad's from Pittsburgh, but he he was raised out here, so he came to Long Beach as a kid. So Pop Warner, Pop Warner football, everything like Snoop know my dad. That's how we got to connect too. But yeah, he met my mama when they was kids. They didn't start dating till like college though, like later but they are just like african-american like oh yeah no, well you know everybody want to figure out what they is now my granny just <laughs> said <laughs> my granny my granny just said, yeah my granny just not for real she been uh she been heavy on trying to figure out what she is because you see her she got locks like she love like african culture so she like you know but she say she nigerian i don't know about all that but she might be my auntie yeah <laughs> Right, you see her be like, what's up, T.T.? What's but up, I'm, T.T.? Yeah, I'm like, my mom, my, I'm actually lying to you. My grandpa on my mom's side, he's Creole. And then his mom is German, like full, like she was like a whole white lady. Like, mm-hmm. She's German. So a bunch of shit, but I'm black. Shit, fuck it. That's why I'm black. If I don't know about it too much, I ain't going to be like, you know, I'm this, I'm this. No, for sure. I'm just chocolate. Just chocolate. Well. What I will say is that it was amazing talking to you. I feel like it I is. learned a lot of fun facts about Shady. That's my Shady no, right there. Real. That's my Khadija, and we're going to go up. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I love, let Thank me say that you. on camera. Like, I love that whatever you want to do, you make sure it's set in stone. Like, you make sure you do it. Like, 
She got me here. Crap. Fix you bitches could never. <laughs> Oh my never. God! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out here. I'm extremely proud Thanks of you. Like I said, I enjoy your content. I'm sure I'm not the only one who does. Your videos are amazing. She gets hella Thank views you, on um, YouTube. Yeah, check me out on YouTube, y'all. Shady Blue. I got a single out with 03 Greedo called No Use on all platforms. Y'all go run that up. Y'all run that up, and I give y'all more music. Period. Cause period. Germany did they big one. I need America to like step it up. Step it up. <laughs> step it up. Hey. <laughs> but like I said, we love Shady Blue here on Khadija's podcast. And we about to sign out. This McBain went pretty good. Shady didn't really eat like that. Why she yelling? But, <laughs> 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 but back at it again with the Dizzle. Make sure y'all cop y'all a couple. We out of here. Bye. It's the princess of the motherfucking streets. You see the vibes. Know that. Know that. Is that true? Bitch, I'm living straight back. Bitches all I'm giving, bitch I'm living.